Okay, so today we'll see uh, the four components in Selenium. One is ID, mm -hmm. RC, web driver, and grid. So we'll start mm -hmm. with the web driver, then we'll with, go with the grid, and we'll see the basic structure of ID and RC. So the starting of this series, Selenium is web driver. So the version is uh, Selenium 3.0 or Selenium 2.0. You can use any one of these versions. But uh, some jar files where we can need to, to download it and we need to import into your project. Based on that, we can work on these stores. So Selenium WebDriver, actually, just we already discussed yesterday, that see, this is a, this is used for functional and regression testing. I hope you know these things, difference between the whole, the function and regression, right? Yeah, regression is nothing but the repeated uh, testing, right? For the whole uh, module. Okay. Functional is nothing but the components, right? Yeah, can you give an example for functional and regression? Sorry? Can you give an example for functional and regression? A function is like if we get into the login page, we do um, like the um, the functionality of the particular uh, uh, item on that one, like the components, mm. like okay. the username, password, login button, uh, all those functionalities. Mm. Regression is nothing but the whole thing, like uh, the whole scenario, I guess. Mm. So you're going to test your... So you need to test your entire application along with your modifications, mm -hmm. right? So when yeah. you go for when you go for the retesting, whatever the issues have been affected, that you're going to test only that affected part. That is retesting, okay. right? So regression mm -hmm. testing is you're going to check the entire application along with the modifications, right? Okay. So actually, okay. this linear web driver is used for both the functional and regression testing. Okay. So this is okay. used for Using web driver, we can test any number of pages, comma, browsers in a single operating single system OS. with latest version. Okay? Latest version. Mm -hmm. Supported browsers are or Internet Explorer, Safari. Safari. Opera, Chrome, and Firefox, and Firefox. Next. So supporting languages, supporting programming languages are Java, Ruby, Python, Perl, PHP, and C sharp. And C sharp. Next. Cross browser. Cross browser, comma. Parallel testing. Testing is possible by testng or jinit. Jinit. Next, the reports can be generated in the form of .xml file. Next, framework design is possible is possible by testing GR joint. Test in your framework. Next. So, now. so when you want to work with the web driver, so we need to have your first we need to have your installation process. Java, JRE, JDK, and we need to have your we need to have your jar files. 
these are the things which we need to have to work on WebDriver. The first part in WebDriver is look methods and locators in WebDriver. Methods are nothing but operations. Okay. Nothing but operations. Locators are nothing but properties. Properties of object. Properties of object. What are the methods do you find to work on the application? No. Before going to that part, first we'll see what are the browsers we are going to work on. Working on multiple browsers. The first one is Firefox. So for example, your Firefox version is below or less than 40 version. So mm -hmm. no drivers required to work on Firefox. Okay, no? It doesn't require any drivers. Directly you can run your application. Okay. Mm -hmm. If your version is above 40. Okay. So then we need to have and if the version is greater than 40, we need to download Gecko driver. We we'll call it as a Gecko driver and use the use the set path for the required functionality. For the required function. So, example, if I'm using Firefox 36, something like okay, I'm going to use the Firefox 36. So now mm -hmm. what we need to do is create create an object for the browser for the browser. So how do you write it? C Firefox driver. Some variable equal to new Firefox driver. Okay, no matter. So we need to write this. So A is a variable. Firefox driver is a driver of, a, of the browser, and new is an instance of a class where we are going to create an object, and we can call the classes, methods, and functions. So Firefox driver, some variable equal to new Firefox driver. So there is the object where we are going to create for Firefox. So if your version is, uh, if your version is, if your version is 36, okay? 36. No? 36. Yeah. Now, if you are using like a so, Firefox 40 version, okay? If you are using mm -hmm. like 40 version, so we need to download the Gecko driver and we need to set the path. So we use a function called uh, system dot uh, set property of so what is the component? Web driver. What is the browser? Gecko driver. Gecko dot driver, comma. So where is your path? So something like default and double slash. Gecko driver, gecko driver dot exe. Okay, no matter. So you see, system is an utility function. Set property is a method. Web driver is a component. Driver is a gecko driver is a is a browser component. Browser component. You may ask me what is the difference between these two? Web driver is a yeah, selenium, component. Uh, selenium component, and gecko driver is a browser component. Browser component. Okay. And this is a parameter. Which is a parameter where your gecko driver is been installed in your machine, local machine. Okay. Na? Okay, so we are calling that one. Yeah, we are going to call the path, right? So we are going to call the path. Okay. So mm -hmm. system is is nothing but a 
Java utility function. Utility function. Set property is a method. Set property is a method. Set is nothing but we are going to get the value. Get the values. Get property. Set property is going to set the value. What we are going to set the value? We are going to set the value of component component comma uh, parameter. Okay, madam. Parameter. Yeah. Parameter. Yeah. Next. Web driver is a selenium component. Component. Next. Gecko driver. Gecko driver is a browser. Browser driver. Browser component. Browser component. <laughs> Next. And uh, path. Path of the path of the driver. So there is nothing but a parameter. So nothing but a parameter. So this is the okay. Yeah. Okay. Now so we are using a code driver. If you are using a code driver, we need to have your set the path. If you are using the older version, oh sorry. If you are using any older version, then you no need to give any set path. Directly you can give the Firefox driver D equal to new Firefox driver. Okay, madam? Yeah. <clears throat> so here uh, the Firefox driver A is the component, right? Or uh, A is a variable, the... madam. A is the variable. variable. So through the variable A, we are going to call the page. A dot get, okay. A dot navigate. That is a so we are using the method. Okay. So I'm going to create okay. an instance of a class variable A for the browser. Through that browser, I'm going to call the method page. Okay. Okay. So now if you're using Chrome browser, based on mm -hmm. the version, we need to download Chrome driver dot exe and set path in the in the functionality so we need to set the path so if there is no below or above for every chrome browser mm -hmm. we need to have your driver path okay madam so okay, okay. So use system dot set property of web driver dot chrome dot driver comma b colon chrome driver dot exe this is the path Okay. <laughs> Okay, so no. Similarly, if you got it, so if you are using like yeah. a Safari version, Safari browser, so it's the same thing based on the version, version, we need to download the Safari driver, Safari driver dot uh -huh. exe file and set the path in the functionality. So what do you write? Just uh, I'll copy the same thing. I can use web driver dot. So here you use Safari dot driver. Okay, no? mm -hmm. Okay, no? Next. Internet Explorer. So, 
So here we use IE driver server IE driver server dot exe file madam. Okay, na? IE driver server dot exe and set the and set the path in the chart. So system dot set property. Here we use Safari in place of Safari. IE okay. Safari. And here instead of Safari, we need to use IE driver server dot exe file. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Firefox driver, Chrome driver, Safari driver. Internet Explorer driver. Okay, so these are the difference. So in we oh, Opera, you may have different different browsers, right? So based on that, we can install. Mm -hmm. But in basically 90 percent, 90 to 95 percent usually works with the Chrome browser, madam. When you want to test your cross browser or palette testing, in that case, we need to download the remaining drivers and we can use it out basically basically we'll use to work with chrome driver only okay yeah now so just uh match for seals and methods and components in this method so we'll go with that methods and locators so the first method which you're going to use get method madam get method so you may ask myself where do you get these methods where do you get these methods and and similarly, one more to more note uh, important points to be noted down. So note to print a statement to print a statement in Java, we use system dot out dot print LM. Okay, na? next. Yes. To comment a single line, Java, in Java we use double slash, right? Mm -hmm. And to, to yes. comment multiple lines, multi, multi line process, multi line process or multiple lines, multiple lines, we use slash star, slash star. And ends with the star slash. Ends with the star slash. So these are the important points to be noted now. Now we'll go with the the first method which you're going to use get method. Get method madam. What is my get method? Uh, like from the I guess from the code from the back back of the page, we're gonna get the specific uh, mm. components code. I guess like the property. Okay. Mm. Or identification. For suppose if we have uh, like login button, there should uh -huh. be some identification for that one, right? So maybe we get that one to that. Okay. So to get method is to invoke an application or to okay. call an application to call an application mm -hmm. so syntax is syntax is object mm -hmm. dot i'll tell you what is object. 
object dot get. So you, you need to use URL inside that. Okay. The example mm -hmm. is object dot get a http colon slash slash mm -hmm. dot google dot. Okay, na? this is okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Next, we'll go with the second one is instead of get, uh, we can also use uh, one second. Second one is navigate dot po two. Either you can use get method or you can also use navigate to also method. Okay, na? okay. So it's just to revoke uh, the application, yes. right? To invoke an application or to call mm -hmm. an application. Call an okay. application. So mm -hmm. syntax is object dot object dot navigate dot po2 dot url okay, no? so example okay. would be object dot navigate dot po2 http colon slash slash google dot com okay okay so this is the how you are going to get the method and the third one is Third one is maximize window. To okay. maximize the current window. To maximize the current window. So syntax would be object dot manage dot window dot maximize. So you are going to maximize the window by using a function called manage. Okay, so we are going to manage the okay. window by maximizing it. So this is the syntax for maximizing the window. Okay, madam. Now we'll go for the okay. next one is get the title, madam. To get the mm -hmm. to get the title of the to get the title of the current window. To get the title of the current window. For example, if I open this window, right? If I open the window. Now, what is the title here? See, what is the title? Uh, new, tab, new Tab, New Tab Chrome Driver. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chrome, okay. So that's the title of the page. So if you want to get the title of the page, so we use, we use get function. So syntax is, so there are two ways where you can get the title, madam. One is guest, just we can uh, create a string and we can store that in a string and we can print that string, right? Other one is directly we can print the tri uh, title, okay? So okay. method one, method one is, so we use string a equal to d dot get title. So why I'm going to use the string? The string is a data type. Since the title is the name of that page, okay? So the name of the page mm -hmm. is a string. So data type will be string so without the whenever we okay, are saying whenever, yeah whenever we are assigning the value to the variable it should have a data type so here we are going to so, get the name of that the page so that name should mm -hmm. be a data type so i'm going to assign to the variable mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. yeah got it yeah got it so that string i've been stored up and if you want uh, to print that uh, uh, system dot out. just a quick second just a quick second, just yes. just a quick second. Yes. One minute. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> okay. System dot out dot printer print a madam, right? Mm -hmm. So don't give any quotations here. If you give the quotation, it will print the value a a a printer. If you're not giving any quotation, okay. whatever the value present in a, that value will be printed. Okay. Yes. Yes. Got it. So just uh, method two will be. 
So directly you can use system dot out dot printer and d dot get title. Okay, na? Mm -hmm. So method two is directly you can print this title. First is first method is just I'm going to get the title and I'm going to store it in a variable a and I'm going to print the variable a. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the fourth one. Next one is get a current URL to get the current page URL. Okay. Current page URL. Syntax the same thing which you can work. There are two methods. One is a string B equal to D dot get a current URL. So system dot out dot print ln p right mm -hmm. okay or or so the second one is system dot out dot print ln print ln of d dot get a current url so you can use any one of the methods okay only a difference you are using variable on the first one yes and, uh, directly you're getting the yes yes, yes. <laughs> So this is a method. Next. Forward to move to next page. Next okay. page or next page or window. Okay, so syntax would be object dot navigate dot forward. Okay, navigate dot forward. Next, back method. To move to previous page or previous window. Okay, na? previous page or okay. Okay, madam. Previous window. Mm -hmm. So we use syntax e object dot. Uh, we can use direct navigate or we can directly use navigate dot back. Okay, object dot back. That's all. Okay. Na? Next. Mm -hmm. Refresh. So, a oh, small question. For the forward, you are using navigate. For the back one, back directly you can back. use object dot navigate dot back or object dot navigate. Uh, object dot back. Oh, so, so, for the forward also, we can use without navigate? Or no, no, no. Some, some uh, methods, depending upon the version, depending upon the version, mm -hmm. may not identify it. Okay, 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 got it. So, mm -hmm. refresh is to refresh the current page. Object dot refresh. Okay, next. Quit function. Quit is to, to close, to close, all the browsers or pages okay mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. syntax is object dot quit okay, next close madam close function to mm -hmm. close the current window okay na? to close the current window current window or page current window or page okay na? So syntax would be object dot close. Object dot close. Next, we use the next element called find element one. Okay. So the find element is to capture a particular element from the window. For example, okay, this is the one I was seeing. Yeah. Yeah. For example, in this Google page. I want to click on the Gmail link or I want to click on this button or I want to enter something into the text box. In that case, we used to have your 
find element madam okay na so to capture a particular particular element from the current window current window so example is to get the link or drop down or list or radio button radio button or checkbox not the entire one only single element okay yeah. Syn syntax would be object dot find element of by dot locator and the locator value name of the name of the locator name of the locator dot operation here find element is a locator by is a method locators there are different kinds of locators are there I will tell you ID name, class name, tag name, link text, text path, CSS locator. There are different text for locators are there. And locator name of the locator, which you've been captured the particular ID of that element or drop down element lock, like name of that element or CSS locator of that element or X path of that element. We need to mention inside the brackets. Dot operations if you want to click on button or if you want to enter something in text box by using send keys we need to perform that okay na? okay hello hello madam hello yeah madam yeah i can hear you now okay sure. sorry right so okay find the element okay the next one is find okay. elements to capture mm -hmm. multiple elements, elements which are related to single functionality like example like to count the number of links, okay? Links, okay. Down, links, lists, next, radio buttons or check boxes. So in that case, we used to have your find elements. So, okay? yeah, so from right. this find elements, we will get uh, the hidden uh, elements as well. Yes. Right? Or yes. just. See. Okay. okay. For example, if you go for Amazon page, madam, okay? So if you want mm -hmm. to get the list of these elements, okay, drop down. Or if you want to get the list of drop down links, multiple okay. elements in the same tab. Mm -hmm. Okay. In that case, we used to have your find elements. Okay, na? find elements. So syntax object dot find elements of by dot locator name of the locator okay yeah. next get the page source to get the or to find out to find out uh, whether text is present in the window or not. Okay, no? Window is nothing but page. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing but yeah. page or not. So if you, for example, I want to check whether the selenium word or selenium text is present in the window or not. In that case, we used to have your get the page source. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get the page source. So syntax is, so same we can perform in two ways. One is so string C equal to P dot get page source. And we can print that. So system dot out dot 